it has been raining a lot which means i've not been going out for dumpster diving and because of the baby i don't want to take her out so i've been home which gives me a good opportunity to declutter massively now i do continue to declutter a lot but i've been dumpster diving so much that my house feels a little like a hoarded home um this is just an area the upper upper like in the upper floor of the house we don't use that a lot so it just becomes a place where i dump all my findings um so and then this is uh, a spare bedroom associated with it so far we haven't had any guests so this also has turned into a huge storage space the tv is not going to go anywhere this is my husband's spare tv <laughs> it'll just be here but the other things probably could find new homes the first thing i took out are these men's shoes saved from the dump sold for six bucks second thing is this jacket also saved from being incinerated sold also for six dollars then a bunch of sleeves that i found you probably could see it in one of my dumpster diving videos they were a set of i think 10 or 11 i kept a few for myself but i'm getting rid of eight pairs collectively they sold for dollar one dollar so as i take things out i also reorganize and clean now I've got a bunch of stuffed toys. Um, I did wash them. No, I didn't wash all of them, but I did wash a few of them. Um, one great way to get rid of things is to bundle them. Now, I would not have been able to get rid of these toys individually, but I bundled 10 of them and they sold for 5,001. So that's one trick. If you want to declutter a lot, bundle things together and someone will be interested in, you know, spending that fuel money to come and get the items then a tumbler left the house too because i just don't use it and then we have i was just gonna clean the table <sighs> that's the problem with diving and then again more clothes these are kids clothes i've just it's tiring to deal with the clothes the amount of clothes i find when i'm diving um i have to wash everything i have to match the sizes from my different finds and then bundle them together but i do it in hopes that you know it's it's kids clothes someone will be needing it uh they should not be going into landfill or incinerator so yeah this is they all went to a new home to another family and as of now, I've gotten rid of 33 items. Uh, just gotta do some more <laughs> organizing and clearing up. And, and I've come up with uh, five sets of pants. Tried to sell them. Oh, these are men's pants. So I actually put three of them. Uh, and then this jacket. And they sold and this was this is a beat up pouch stroller that i could never figure out how to use so gave it for free i also got it for free and this weird item that i don't know what it was and these are the set of five pants that i tried to sell nobody was interested in buying so it just means they have to go for free then and with those pants i also put these two dresses because they also weren't getting sold now these bowls i actually also found <laughs> while diving i rescued them from the trash can a pair, uh, there is a set of six i sold them all uh this luggage bag this random glass container that was in the bathroom drawer i don't know why put it in recycling this tracksuit for little boys this pair of shoes that i rescued a couple of months ago and these this pair as well now this is my own set i bought this from a vintage store back in america uh, i'm counting the saucer and the cup as separate but i sold them for a dollar i wish i'd gotten more money but i didn't then there is this whole set of 
magic bullet like it's not a set it's a small thing uh, but it just was a huge item the box was taking up a lot of space i just don't use it so i sold it and as i clear more items i i'm also on how much we waste how much we consume this was a rain jacket and a bunch of clothes yeah so we are just the companies are overproducing good or just producing too much and we are just mindlessly consuming it all and all of these things have an environmental cost a human cost usually people who live in poor country they're the ones who suffer and this is a whole set of used batteries that don't work dead batteries i found a place that takes it it's safe disposal and that's where i took the batteries a leather bag uh, medicine so this was a narcotic medicine i got after my c-section disposed it safely thankfully i didn't have to use it and then this cardboard box again i had a lot more cardboard boxes but and they take up a lot of space so i would count it this is a very tiny thing but i'm still counting it because it is damaged and inefficient and it's still an item in my house so yeah uh, now these are some baby clothes that i absolutely didn't need or use so i am giving this away to a soon-to-be mama of a boy Anyways, and then this is something i also rescued from trash but i forgot it in my garden and the entire wood is rotten now i just forgot it in my garden so now it just and it has to leave it every time i look at it i get overwhelmed so i finally decluttered it speaking of medicines yes this is an empty container needs to be gone um, pair of pants or like slacks i think that's what they're called gave it to a friend a bunch of kids toys that i rescued it's kind of sad that there's so many kids who have to work in factories to provide and then there are kids who have so many toys like this and they are just so easily discarded i gave these to a friend a baby bib i just happen to have an extra unused one more like clothes so these are like teenage girls clothes and then a pair of uh, a set of mugs four mugs so 91 92 93 and then yeah all oh, four sets and then this is uh i'm counting this this whole set of toys as one these are like kids toys again left for trash that's kind of sad i did wash them scrub them and then i sold them empty tube of uh, cream that you know we often forget that there are empty stuff that needs to be trash and then this whiteboard gave it for free these shoes or sandals that were damaged them and then this another prenatal medicine that had expired a year ago i don't know why i didn't notice it before then there is this uh, clipboard that I don't use. It's also damaged. And then finally, item number 100 is a clothing pattern that I tried to use, but I didn't. And I know I won't. So the room is way less cluttered. So is that extra living room. And at these, the, both these places still have clutter, but it's more organized clutter. And I will definitely still be working on it. But I feel like I had to celebrate getting rid of 100 items. This is one corner, um, and the stuff is piling up. I have to deal with it. So, as the weather outside, it's monsoon is ending, and it'll soon be very hot, which means I'll still be stuck at home. I will be clearing that corner, or starting with that corner. There's still stuff in bedrooms that I need to clear out. As I was mentioning, with trash disposal, you have to responsibly dispose of items. Now, this sign here says that garbage will be collected from homes and not like the general dis area because people were discarding it in an incorrect manner so yeah just a <laughs> message do not our consumption patterns should not harm the environment happy decluttering